In this chapter, I am going to show you how to make an animation of a moving bus. You can sit back and watch the show. This video is just to inspire you that we can make amazing animations in PowerPoint. In upcoming chapters, I will proceed in a much slower manner so that you can do along with me. So don't worry that I am doing things faster in this video. Here, I have opened Microsoft PowerPoint 2013. To create an animation, I need a blank presentation. This is how a blank presentation of PowerPoint looks like. But as you see, this basically not blank. So you can click layout under home tab and select blank but it will delete only the default boxes and not any copied boxes so to delete them right click on each of the boxes and select cut one by one or you can select all the boxes at once and press ctrl x in keyboard to cut or just right click and select cut before proceeding into the animation part, let me use you what's inside animation tab. These are very preset animations that can be applied to almost anything that we insert through insert tab. Here, this is animation pane where we can tweak the animation applied to shapes or pictures etc. So shall we enter into the animation part now? Okay, now I am going to make an animation of a moving bus. For that, first I wish to take a rectangular cuboid. Under format tab, I can change the color of the bus. Okay, after changing the color of the bus, now let me insert circles or wheels to the bus. Holding Ctrl key in keyboard, if we click and drag a shape, then PowerPoint will make a copy of it automatically. Now I have drawn two wheels. So to make it four, I am holding Ctrl key, selecting the first wheel and then selecting the second wheel. Now I have selected both the wheels. Now I am going to drag the pointer to make a copy of both the wheels together. Now we have 4 wheels. But have you noticed one thing? Two of these 4 wheels should not be visible fully when seen from this side of the bus. So I am sending these 2 wheels back. For that under format tab click send to back. This will send these shapes or wheels back to all the shapes that we have drawn earlier. Whereas, if I click send backward, these wheels will be sent backwards step by step. That is one step behind the recent shape that we have drawn. We are going to into the code part now, animation. Now let me expand the animation pane too so that I can easily customize the animation options. To insert an animation, click the shape and then click add animation. Here there are three types of effects, entrance, emphasis and exit. Now I am gonna add fly in entrance effect and fly out exit effect first. Have you noticed one thing? When during the playback, the shapes are moving non uniformly. So let's group all these individual shapes into one. For that, I'm gonna select all the shapes, run right click, and then select group, then click group. Now they are grouped. So I need to add these entrance and exit effect again. 
Let me show how to customize the effect now. Click effect option and select from left for the entrance effect and to right for the exit effect. That's it. We have created an animation of a moving bus. Let's see how it's playing together. To save this as a video, click file and then save as. Here you need to choose the file type as mp4 or windows media video. Once we opt to save, the video transcoding status will be shown in the powerpoint status bar. Once the video has got saved, we can play it back in any windows media player or a VLC players. Here, this is how the video looks like. In this next chapter, I will show you how to customize these animations further and how to use such animations in professional or business life. Thank you.